oh my um webcam is not working so uh let's just do this without my webcam um thanksgiving week and i am writing in the middle of writing an email or sorry an announcement um to the class about the w um drop deadline and this came from an email that i'm showing to you right Okay, so it came from uh, an email from other uh, other faculty about um, the job deadline. But um, so they urged me to drop people. Do instructor initiated drop those who have not been doing well, have not have been missing an action, um, things like that. So let me finish this. You see here. Uh, let me know ASAP if you would like. If let me know if you have any question. Thanks. Good. So just letting people know about this, about my intention to do this. It's going to help them out. Um, the people who have not been um, submitting work. Okay, so we are at um, week 12 now. I put up the module yes, uh, yesterday, last night actually. And um, this week is intense. And I realized that um, the time in the timing and the pacing is not good because uh, of the holiday weekend, Thanksgiving holiday. So I have um, made it possible for people to turn it in, to turn assignments in uh, the following week, as I have stated, but these are the required readings for this week. We're, uh, we're focusing on um, not too much on the sympathizer this week, but on uh, this article called Putting Ethno Ethno Ethnographic Writing in Context. Okay. And also uh, the scoring guide and student samples for um, the final exam, which is going to be on December 15th. Um, so these two documents are quite uh, important because it includes, this one in particular includes uh, student written um, samples. Like this essay is a four, this is a passing grade. So this becomes important for you to study and see how they've done it. So you can also be prepared, be better prepared for the final exam. Okay. Um, this week we have journal 11 on week 11 readings and uh, one page long. We have um, the research paper without the research. Now this assignment um, can be submitted the following Sunday, December uh, 3rd. So if, if you cannot get this done this Sunday, because you're traveling uh, out of town somewhere, you are welcome to submit it December 3rd, okay, which is the Sunday after that. But essentially this assignment is um, about, you know, um, your research argumentative essay without the research. So you're writing a four page, uh, MLA formatted essay uh, on your argument. Okay, so the triangle of rhetoric comes in. When you write argumentative essays, you need to consider ethos, pathos, and logos here. Um, so you're turning your um, research project so far. Uh, you, you by now should already have read enough so that you're the expert on it. So you're turning what you've learned um, into an essay, but 
you're not including any statistics or any quotes or any facts yet here. So you're just simply going to try to persuade your reader of your argument, of your thesis statement. So, so I recommend that you do um, the pre-writing and the outlining for it first so that uh, you're still applying the, uh, the writing process on the research paper with other research. Okay, but that's not required. Um, all you do is you just submit your, um, your four page minimum required um, persuasive essay, argumentative essay to this thread. So, uh, if you don't know the argumentative essay, here's the review part of last week again. So just simply look back on it. Okay, so this one talks about the argumentative essay, the argument essay. Okay. Um, plenty of sources out, out on the web to, to also help you with, with it. But yeah, this, uh, this research paper without the research um, is the third step of our research project. So um, this is the necessary step before you put in all the facts and the quotes and the stats. So when I look at it, um, I, I then can give you more feedback before you put together your final draft. Okay. And then the fourth step of the research project is the presentation slides or uh, the document that contains some sort of presentation. It could be a Prezi, it could be a Google Doc or Google Slides, it could be a PowerPoint. In it, you, you are presenting what you found through your research. So you present your argument, you present the findings and how the, the research findings are supporting your thesis and your conclusion. Okay, so that's what the fourth step is. And the final fifth step of the research project is the final draft of your research paper with the research. Okay, so um, let me know if you have any questions um, as we continue going forward. So this is the assignment thread to for you to submit your pre-write and outline materials for the ethnographic essay. And um, coincidentally, some of the tasks on week 12 discussion forums are on the uh, ethnographic essay as well. So right here, you, you can post um, and share with the class um, your pre-write and outline here. Okay, and then your thesis essay, th uh, research essay thesis statement, you can post it here as well, so that other people, um, hopefully you and other classmates can bounce ideas off of one another, can share ideas, can help each other out in a discussion setting, okay? So, the uh, the pre-write and the outline. The pre-write can be simply uh, the work that you did for week 11 when you posted that um, pre-write on week 11 discussions forum. You can simply copy and paste it into here. And then the next thing is creating an outline. And a work in progress is okay, as long as you have a general plan, like. Uh, give us some ideas as to how you're going to approach um, this essay, including maybe perhaps a few uh, question stems that you will you might use to interview um, more than one peop more than one person in that cultural event setting. Okay. So by this, by this time, you should already have selected your culture or subculture. And so as you work towards this essay, uh, I hope that you've already located 
an event for that culture or subculture so that you can participate in. If you haven't, you still have some more time. But um, this cannot be, well, I don't know if, it, if that's possible anymore, you know, to do an online thing. It needs to be locally based. So online um, or virtual exploration of a culture so far, it's, it's discouraged. I'm not sure if it's feasible or um, accepted yet, but apparently ethnography is uh, people watching in their own natural element. So I don't know if that can be done virtually or online. Okay, so try to plan on participate in at least one cultural event. <clears throat> so as, this, as I've stated, you can uh, turn this in next Sunday as well, December, December 3rd, but it's set to be due on the 26th of November. Okay, moving forward, um, the discussions forum. Here, here's my thing again with the, the Thanksgiving holiday. This is uh, this task I've already talked about. You simply cut and paste your um, pre-write and outline for the, for the ethnographic essay. Here you just put your thesis statement, and this um, activity, this task, is for me to share with you what we did together uh, at West Valley. I also teach one A here uh, at West Valley and. We were in pairs, and I designed um, pair work. So people looked at uh, this article, and they did bullets on what they found after reading it. So I found um, this document to be highly useful. So the students came up with this. Okay, so I didn't do I didn't do this. So I hope that this uh, this document um, comes into handy uh, for you as you work on your um, ethnographic essay. Okay, so that that's the task right here. It's got it's got a question, actually two questions for you to answer. And the next task is reflecting on the annotated work cited. Okay, and learning MLA 8th edition. Jose has done this. Christopher has done this. They are usually uh, the first two people doing the assignments. They're on top of, of the game, if you will. Um, so next I have the final exam specifics. I don't know if I published it. I don't think I did. Hold on, let me double check. Um, it's like I say, it's on December 16th. Oh, no, 15th. That's a Friday. Oh, I, I haven't published it. Only because it's old uh, information. But uh, the information should still be very similar to what I have here. Instead of uh, May 20th, it's going to be on Friday, December 15th. You'll be uh, in, you have to bring, sorry, you'll be in a room. And I just got that email and I'll, I'll announce this. Again, I got the email for the room location. Okay, so I will tell you which room it is. And I will, I will also announce it. Later, as we, we are drawing closer and closer to the, the date. So, um, it's going to be room AB103, okay, uh, for English 1A, and it's going to begin at 9.40, but I would try to be there in the room at 9 20 9 30 at the latest to give myself some buffer time plan to arrive accordingly um, on time because um, 
the policy is that I, I cannot let people in if they're late. So they, they tell me to lock the door, but I, don't, I normally don't do that. So I, I try to be understanding and accommodating, but uh, being late is not good. So try to be there at 9.20 or 9.30 at latest, okay? A.M. on that Friday. So the room again is AB103. You're gonna need to bring a green examination booklet and it looks, it looks green and it looks like this, okay? It's available at the bookstore. So if you arrive early, like 9.15, you can just swing by to the bookstore and grab one or two because the graders, the scorers, will not read anything that's not written inside this booklet. Okay? They will not read it. They will not consider it. So for, for them to consider, you need to write your essay inside this booklet. Um, in the past, some students got the wrong booklet. It is also green, but it doesn't look like this. It's, uh, there are two types of green, large green examination booklets. And so in the past, um, the scorers accepted the other one as well, but this is the one that we need, okay? So try to get this one where you have three circles and it looks like a, the snowman a snowman, so we call that the green snowman booklet. And the bookstore should have uh, those replenished and available to you. And it costs about 45 cents each, okay? If you buy two and one of your classmates forgot to get it, you can sell, you can resell your second copy for $5. And they, are, they will be in the position to, to buy it. So you make some money. Okay, so you need to bring, bring a black or blue ink pen. Okay, so a black or blue ink pen. You can bring an American English dictionary or electronic spell check. You are not to use your cell phones. Bilingual dictionaries are not allowed. Okay, so those are the requirements and the the last bit is for me to uh, to read because I need to be there and um, get the packet to the prompt packet and hurry over to AB one o. What's the room again? See, I already forgot. AB one o three. Okay. So that would be it for this week. All the all that I have. Um, do you have any comments or question for me? I have not graded anything and I'm behind with grading. So unless you want me to look at specific assignment that you did and, and want more feedback on, or you need me to help you with uh, the ethnographic essay or um, the research paper, okay, please let me know. So now it's your chance. All right. Um, are you are you having are you getting a good grade in this class? Are you uh, having an A? I don't even know that. Let's look. Oh no, I can't because it's gonna show uh, other people's grade. I can't do that. <laughs> but um, let me know how I can assist you. Okay, and um, I will put this meeting recording on Zoom. Oh, sorry, um, on YouTube. And then we'll post an announcement on the final exam specifics later. So if I don't see you, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, oh, wow, well, you, you should be sure about your grades so that if you see any mistakes in your grades, you need to let me know because <laughs> I definitely probably have um, done a lot of mistakes when I grade people. So I kept doing that. I kept saying, Look at your grades, look at your grades. Let me know if, if there's, a, there's a discrepancy or there's a mistake so I can fix it. Okay, so that would be your, um, uh, to your advantage if you do that. Okay, um, let's see, that's the, that's the, that would be it.
for today. Um, I would try to be online on Thursday at uh, around 11.50 or noon. Not, not this coming Thursday because it's Thanksgiving, but all the Thursday thereafter, I will, be, I will try to be available. So I'll be back on uh, Zoom, not tomorrow, but Wednesday at uh, 2 p.m. And then that will be it. So there's, there's only this meeting and then the, the one on Wednesday for this week. So this recording might be helpful to uh, people who, who usually show up on Thursday and Friday. So thanks to you for showing up. Otherwise, I could not have done this uh, recording. Any question or comment before I end the meeting? All right. Well, thank you. Um, enjoy. Thank you very much. You too. Have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, take care and be careful when you do uh, Black Friday shopping. <laughs> All right. Cheers.